Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Topher here with KVS. It's been a while guys, hadn't shot a video in, in some time. I uh, apologize for that, but you know, life gets in the way sometimes. What are you gonna do? But we're back and uh, I wanted to take a little bit to talk about the old Telecaster. You guys remember the Telecaster? If you're a subscriber to the channel, you probably remember the video that we shot about this Telecaster. If you're new to the channel, that video is going to be right there. Go check it out. This is my 2008 American Deluxe Telecaster. It's probably my favorite guitar that I own. It's got a few issues and I want to take care of those today. Because I play this guitar all the time, of course, it's going to have its issues from time to time. Today, what we're going to focus in on are these saddles. And as you can see, um, they're in pretty bad shape. The saddles themselves are okay, but the adjustment screws and the set screws are in rough shape. The springs need to be changed. The screws need to be changed. Needs a bit of an overhaul when it comes to the saddles. But that got me thinking. A while back, I had the, the idea to to maybe change these original saddles out with some old school brass barrel style saddles. Uh, I never did it because um, of all the research that I did, it seemed like a lot of people would run into issues with intonation and everybody's got an opinion on these things. And for whatever reason, I just, I never did it. I decided against it and I've stuck with the original saddles. But when I was researching uh, what to do about this, um, when I was looking at different screws and springs and stuff to buy, I found these brass saddles. Uh, and they are a replacement for these saddles. And I just wanted to try it. You know, there's nothing wrong with, uh, if you know, you're gonna have a player grade guitar, there's nothing wrong with trying new stuff and just testing it out and seeing what it sounds like. So in this video, I'm gonna take these saddles off and I'm going to replace them with the new brass saddles. I don't know much about these brass saddles. I think they were about 25 bucks on Amazon uh, and they may sound terrible or they may sound awesome. We're going to find out together. So let's get this guitar on the workbench. We'll replace these saddles and we'll see what's what. Okay, we'll start here by taking off the strings and um, Setting those aside, getting ready to take the saddle pieces off. Begin taking the saddle pieces off here. Um, one thing to note, if you plan on doing this, take extra care and precaution when taking these screws out. As you can see, they're incredibly rusty and crusty. This bridge and these saddle pieces look terrible. Um, so these screws want to strip, that's for sure. They're gonna to wanna to strip out on you, be very, very slow, very meticulous, and they should come out. Just showing you how absolutely disgusting this bridge and these screws are. Uh, I really can't believe that they held on for as long as they did. They were in really rough shape. Clean this bridge plate off. Uh, this is a little technique I came up with, I, I wrap a flathead screwdriver in a cloth and spray a little bit of uh, WD-40 or whatever kind of cleaner you like. And um, it does a really good job of getting in those little corner spaces, hard to reach spaces. And we'll start installing the new brass saddles. And I can tell you, I really like the look of these saddles against the chrome, the brass against the chrome. Uh, looks really, really good to me. I, I'm really digging that look. And uh, now let's get ready for my big screw up. Well, guys, I have made a rookie mistake. Actually, I'm going to blame it on you guys for not letting me know as soon as you saw it, because I know you caught it. Let me tell you what I did. This Telecaster has an offset bridge, and these are off, the original saddles are offset saddles. See how the, the hole is not in the center of the saddle? Well, guess what? These are center shaft. 
So, the holes where the strings come through, they don't line up. There's the hole. There's where the saddle sits. Idiot! Why didn't you guys tell me that? I'm just kidding. I should have known better. I've been working on this guitar for 14 years, and I have worked on this bridge for that long, and uh, I should have known better, and I didn't. I didn't catch it until putting the first string through. But here's the deal. I'm just going to continue on, and these saddles are going to be <laughs> slanted this way a little bit. But we're going to see what it sounds like, and I may break strings, and you know, whatever. We're just, we're trying stuff here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and order the correct saddles. Yikes. Well, there you go, folks. Mistakes can and often do happen, I'm afraid. Um, of course, this was my fault. I uh, should have inspected that bridge and those saddle pieces a little bit closer before I made that purchase. Um, but you would think after having this guitar for as long as I have and working on it for as long as I have, I would have known better. But sometimes you just forget. But never fear. There is a solution. We'll figure it out. All right, guys, there it is. And let's just call it what it is. Crooked. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and set it up, intonate it, tune it up. Let's just see what we have. Who knows? Maybe I'll leave it this way forever. No, I won't. All right, it's all put back together, um, even though they're the wrong saddles. And I can already tell you, I haven't plugged it into anything yet, but I can already tell you, it sounds a lot brighter than it did. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to plugging this into an amp and, and really seeing what it sounds like and, and uh, noting the differences between the steel and the brass saddles. Um, and I will say, even though these are the wrong saddles, uh, I've been working on it. I've been setting it up and intonating it and playing it, and they're, they're working just fine. I don't have any unusual buzzes or anything like that yet. Um, and the thought crossed my mind to just leave these on, even though they look kind of goofy uh, being slanted like that. But uh, I am going to change them out. In fact, during the, during the making of this video, I actually already ordered the new ones. They're on the way. But I am going to live with these for the rest of the week and just see if I like the sound of the brass saddles, which I think that I'm going to. And I, actually, I have another guitar that these would be perfect on. So... In part two of this video, because yes, there will be a part two, uh, we'll replace these saddles with the new ones, and we'll actually put these on the, the other guitar, see what that sounds like, and uh, we'll do a full play and demo. But um, yeah, I just wanted to, I wanted to go ahead and upload this video because just to show you that, you know, we make mistakes sometimes, uh, even as long as I've been playing and working on guitars, sometimes we screw up. Uh, and that's not a big deal. You just got to roll with the punches. But uh, thanks for watching this video and uh, checking out my screw up. Uh, come back for part two. We'll fix this and um, we'll do a little playing demo and you can get a, an idea of what the guitar sounds like. But really appreciate you guys uh, sticking around to the end of this video. Make sure to like the video, comment. Uh, I'm sure that I'm going to see a bunch of comments telling me what a bonehead I am, but that's totally fine. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you come back each week. Thanks, guys.